Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're checking out an abandoned mansion called Hall Mansion. This is a roadside find I discovered while traveling down Route 81 near Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And I discovered it by a massive 16-story tower that was looming over the highway. And I found it on Google Maps and was able to find the location as to where the driveway led to it. And we are now here taking off with my drone, the DJI Spark. The reason we're doing some Spark footage is because the property is heavily posted with no trespassing, private property, and surveillance cameras in use. And I did do some research on the property, which I'll be sharing some of that with you. And we'll discover why it's a good idea that I didn't go back there for myself. Now, as we're raising up in elevation, we do see a tower in the distance. That is what I did spot from the highway. It stands apart from everything else. It is a 16-story tower elevator shaft. And it's actually reportedly haunted, too, because of something that I will explain a little bit later on in the video. But... I do have two websites that I'm going to be sharing some information from. One is the Centennial, which is a, I believe, a website for a newspaper. And they actually did an interview with the Silver Spring Police Department. And the other one is a website for a photographer slash explorer. Now, both websites do have some discrepancies in the dates, but for the most part, the information is the same and correct. And I'm just going to go over some of the highlights with you. If you do want to see these websites for yourself, they will be linked down below in the description. Some of them do contain photos and some more detailed facts about the property. But uh, starting with the Centennial website, it says, Hall Mansion in Silver Spring Township has attracted curious locals since it was abandoned in the early 1990s. Internet sites are touting the burned-out mansion as creepy, haunted, simply strange, and are drawing thrill-seekers from across the country, sparking an increase in trespassing citations at the property. Silver Spring Police Township Police Chief says that it needs to stop and that they want to get the word out to folks that's not worth it. Now, also too, during the footage of the, the drone here, we will notice a few times where the drone randomly changes position or changes its orientation. That is because it's a, not getting a good signal. There's a lot of towers in the area, a lot of Wi-Fi interference. So I did drop out of signal a few times and it tried returning to home, which I had to override. So if it does that, you will notice it, but this is the raw uncut footage from the drone itself. And we're just approaching the property here now. You can see the pond in the foreground and the mansion in the background. And what we're looking at is what's left of it due to a massive fire that took place, which I'll be um, giving some details on in a second. But the property is located on 16 and a half acres. It contained indoor racquetball and squash courts, bomb shelter, 17 fireplaces, and a 25-car garage, among other amenities. And the most striking feature, as I mentioned, is the 16-story tower, which is an elevator shaft. And it's mentioned that it is visible from Interstate 81, and that's how I found it myself. These days, the area is not maintained, and overgrowth hides ponds, and the area is prone to flooding. And the mansion has been gutted by a fire of April 1995 that created additional hazards. A month before the fire, a man was killed when he fell in the elevator shaft from 10 stories high. It's rumored that he was pushed by a spirit. It's also rumored that he fell at his own mistake of not being aware of his footing i guess but it says despite signs warning the cameras are in operation 44 people have been cited for trespassing at the property in the last 10 months the property is clearly marked and it says of all of those 44 people none of them said they didn't see the signs so the area is also gated so cars can't park near the mansion at least not anymore and people are getting creative with their parking of the vehicles and parking along the highway and nearby roads with a white cloth hanging out the window portraying that they're broken down when they're actually in the property, I should say on the property, trying to explore it, but those people don't realize they're actually being sur surveyed under surveillance cameras by a management company. It says, numerous trail cameras and surveillance cameras of the property alert property management to trespassers, who then call the police and direct them to the exact location of the trespassers by continuing to monitor their movements. So, even if you park far away or coming from a different way, you're going to be spotted, you're going to be monitored, and you're going to be on surveillance cameras. And there's no way to deny that in a court of law. It's as if caught trespassers can face either summary or misdemeanor charges that could have an effect on the job market for certain professions. And it could be additional consequences for college students who know, who don't think that far ahead when they're making these uh, attempts to explore the property. There are legends about the mansion. Many websites appear that it's haunted. Some claim the owner, John P. Hall, set fire to the the mansion while his family was inside. Others say he was alone in the mansion. 
And it says the mantra was built in segments from 1969 to 1985 by John P. Hall, heir to Hall's Motor Transit fortune. In a July 93 interview with the Centennial, Hall said he never had a game plan for the mansion, that he just built it as he went along. The interview came just before the mansion went up for auction as part of bankruptcy proceedings in the two years prior, and Hall faced a dozen lawsuits from creditors looking for payment. And it said the fire caused so much uh, speculation, burned out of... Wait, sorry, it's the fire that caused so much speculation, burned out of control for three hours in April 95. Firefighters were forced to retreat due to the potential collapse of the tower, allowing the mansion to burn out of control and destroying much of the structures. 95 investigators reported that no large amount of accelerants were found on the scene, but did not rule out arson, and they also admitted that the cause of the fire may never be found, and that no reports of anyone being injured or killed in the fire ever happened. It says that Hall embezzled money from his company for its construction, but was never able to put enough funding together for the completion of what was supposed to be his dream home, originally called Carillion Tower, and then says that $2 million was put into the construction, and by 93, Hall was forced to sell the property, and the property was purchased by Silver Tower Incorporated, but not before suffering major fire damage. And again, there's more information and pictures of the property here, but you can read the rest of them for yourself. Look at the property now on the footage here. We got a nice overhead shot of it. Obviously, the tower is the most striking standout feature what we're looking at here is the remnants of the mansion the garage and some other foundations most of the other properties were um, burned in the fire other buildings so there was a really sprawled out mansion here with numerous buildings and structures but most of it is gone now we do see some looks like tennis courts or basketball courts there at the pond it's a really nice area and the uh, long driveway there and it, just goes to show how isolated this property is because it really is spread out. You have no neighbors around you. The only place I saw people was on the road where I was parked. Further down the road, there's a few houses there, but once you're back here, you're kind of out here by yourself. 81 is a few hundred yards away, and that's probably your closest neighbor. Once you're back here, though, you just have nature, tons of trees, and on 16 and a half acres, you really do have some peace and serenity from anyone else in the area but it's unfortunate that it never came to fruition and was never completed one thing I wasn't able to determine as to the future of the property it wasn't stated whether or not it's going to be demolished or if it's going to be try to be rebuilt or what the plans are with it all we know is that it is currently monitored by a management company that was hired to watch after it and the future plans are going to be hopefully determined at some point but right now it's just another place that is on the list for urban explorers but my advice is don't come here in person trying to explore the property if you're going to do it do it from the air like i'm doing it with the drone if you go into the property it's almost certain you're going to be arrested you're going to be on surveillance cameras and there's no way to fight that in a court of law you can't sit there and say i didn't see the signs i didn't know it's clearly marked why even ryan park there's over a half dozen signs i'm sure other parts of the property are marked as well and again even if you don't see the signs once you're in here you're going to be on camera so don't even try it if you do want to see what the property looks like up close with people wandering around the property, there are some videos on YouTube. All you have to do is search Hall Mansion or Abandoned Hall Mansion, and there's numerous videos of explorers that have been here. I unfortunately didn't get here in time because now it is watched by the management company, which is going to deter people like myself from wanting to avoid getting any type of trespassing fines or charges. So I figured the uh, drone footage is better than nothing. Again, this is not something I typically do with voiceovers and stuff like this, but I wanted to try something a little bit different and give you my thoughts on it and read directly from the websites that I found the information on. So if you guys do enjoy this type of video, let me know in a comment. Feel free to give the video a thumbs up. If you don't enjoy it, I'm open to constructive feedback, and you could let me know your thoughts on it. And <clears throat> I could go from there for, for future videos to see if this is something that you're interested in. But other than that... We're going to be headed back towards my car now, where I'm parked and where I'm standing to fly. At this point, my battery was starting to drop down, and I believe the signal was coming on to return to home due to shortage of battery life. I think it was down to around 15%, and I'll soon be kicking it into sport mode to get back even faster, because if it was to drop down, I might not find it in the foliage, or it might even drop into one of the ponds. I'm going to be tilting up now with the camera and we could see just how far away it is and how sprawled out this property is 
And you can see the driveway winds through the forest there. We've got some more ponds. And once we get closer to where I'm at, you'll be able to see my white car and my little blue dot of myself wearing a blue shirt where I'm standing there in front of the gate flying the spark. And you'll be able to notice some cars in the background from another close by highway, stuff like that. So definitely secluded and isolated and beautiful, but makes it very hard to explore because if you walk back there, you have quite a walk. And once we do descend down with the drone, we'll be able to see some of the signs that are posted there for no trespassing, private property, surveillance cameras, and so on and so forth. You can see my car there now and see me standing there. And again, that road that I'm on, if you keep going further to the left, there's some houses down there. That would be the closest neighbors and potentially people who could see you if you were to leave your car where I'm at. But wouldn't be a good idea. There's signs all over that area. It's really obvious that you know you shouldn't be there so if you guys did enjoy this video or have any comments or questions or any facts about the property you're welcome to share them down below otherwise if you're new to my channel consider subscribing check out my playlist of different types of content and you're welcome to follow me on facebook where i do share photos and details about my adventures all those links can be found down below in the description so with that said thanks for watching until next time we'll see you in the next video